Hello, this is gonna be a short tutorial. It's not about Tasker today, but about Zooper widgets. So some people were asking me, how can you create a dynamic wallpaper? So as you see on my home screen, you see here my wallpaper and it will automatically change. And that's not all. That wallpaper is also my music player. So for example, I'm using Plex as you see here in the status bar and I can play the cranberries for example. When I click on play, you will see here my home screen is changed as well. So when I click on pause, it will change back to my wallpapers. So this is how it works. I'm not gonna explain the music player. I'm gonna explain how you can create dynamic wallpapers on your home screen. So for that you only need Zooper widgets. The first thing you have to do is create a folder on your SD card. Gonna open that and here I have a folder inside my pictures and I named that folder wallpapers. So I have 10 wallpapers from 1 to 10. So the only thing what I needed was to create a code to choose a random file from 1 to 10. And then I gonna use that code inside my Zooper widgets. So when I go back to my Zooper widgets and I click on layout, you will see here wallpaper pick. That's my wallpaper. So when I click on that and I scroll down to the bottom, you will see advanced and you will see here advanced parameters. So when I click on that, you will see also a code. And the first thing I'm using is bracket B. And bracket B, everything between B and slash B will be bitmap absolute path. So I'm gonna use an absolute path for my images. So after that, I'm using the code SD card pictures wallpapers slash and then I'm gonna use another code dollar sign hashtag DM hashtag bigger than zero question mark and then we use here a code for an integer and we're gonna choose a random number between zero and ten and then we're gonna put a dollar sign again point gpeg and then close our brackets with this one so this is the code you need for create a random picture on your home screen I hope you understand it, it's quite easy and that's the only thing you need to do. Also I will provide the code in the description of this video. Also I will put a link of the maker of that music widget, but for my case I changed that to my own needs. So the normal widget would be without a dynamic wallpaper, but I combined those with the music super widgets. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and see you later. Bye.